we have velvia as well it will improve the colors as you can see the colors looks nice actually the way they are um since i'm using the uh astrophot to denoise some areas may look really like flat or something like this so it's not really pretty so i can add extra grain and you see now it looks like okay there was just noise there and it's pretty cool that way it looks like a photo photo maybe it's a little bit too much noise uh, i can reduce it a bit if it's too much oh like this maybe oh i like it like this right so that's the noise now we can improve a little bit colors in some other ways by using tone curve and i'm using the lab so let's enable tone curve and see what will happen and see how colors have changed completely now they became kind of more saturated but not really like look at what's happening they become more juicy you know more juicy so there's a number of things you control here so there is this uh, brightness luminance right but there's also a and b channels so i work in lab independent channels mode and here you can control the green and the, well the to teal versus reddish pinkish color magenta right um so when you control this i don't want to destroy this image it's nice the way it is but yeah it, it adds as you see extra wonderfulness to the picture the picture now looks just fantastic with the settings so i'm just gonna save this picture because i like it okay let's let's take another picture this picture it's very dark here let's see what will happen if i apply one of those presets I don't know which one. Let's start with the first one. Let's see, oh, it's still dark. I can keep going with presets. Oh, this one looks good, actually. So I actually made few presets depending which way the camera was looking because the one of the directions would be towards the sun, and the other direction would be opposite to the sun, and it will be like in a shadow and so on. So yeah. So so far, I think. Oh, this one looks good. Huh, this one looks actually good. It actually does look, and it is nice shadow here. So let's, uh, let's give it a little bit more brightness in the shade. Oh, that looks cool, right? We can uh, reduce a bit. This, oh, I feel like this is pretty cool. I'm not sure if I like it. What would I else do here? Do you want to make it a little bit more green? I could try a little bit more green. Let's go drastic and do a lot of green. You see that that's, that's what happens when you when you torture these curves here. I need to be very careful with these curves because you know the uh, oh I think it's too green now, but I can actually go lower. The image will become as greenish, but you see, this is the zero point, so it's in the middle, it's quite funny. So now it's going to be normal. Oh, see? Now it's, it's kind of normal. And now the red became even more red. So, you can look into that for the. I don't know, have I not overdone it? It's pretty cool, actually, you can see this color, it's like. Huh. I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit over. Maybe I want to keep it this way, but if I don't like it's oversaturated, I think I reduce the Velvia. Oh, here we go, we just reduce Velvia, and now it looks pretty cool, no? I think it's a nice photo the way it is. I don't know. I feel like I'd like more contrast, a little bit more contrast. Not this one, uh, tone curve, this one. So we just pumped it up here, but maybe we just want a little bit something like this. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at this. That looks cool, no? Well, cooler than this. That's not cool. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, this is so wishy-washy. This is nice. I would like to zoom it. 
Oh, here we go, we can zoom in. Okay, so I just go here. Okay, does it look better? Oh yeah. That looks nice. This is the little bits that you change and you might not be seeing that I'm changing something, but I am changing and I can see it. Okay, I like it. I like the contrast, I like the colors. Their stones look a little bit greenish to me. Let's make them less greenish. Now it's a bit reddish. There's no way of zooming. It would be good if I could zoom in this thing somehow. Okay, let's make it a little bit more yellowish. Oh, now it looks sensible. Yeah, I think it's it's not so blue there. Not so green. Oh, I don't know. Feels like this grass could be greener. No? Oh. Well, I don't know, I moved it a tiny bit. You see, this is the thing. I would like to move it, like, have zoom to this spot there. And this scale doesn't work. I cannot, this is, the, on this view, it doesn't work. So, see, dark table isn't perfect. It has some, uh, I think this, this, this has a good vibe now. Like this little bit mossy, you know. <laughs> okay. So we have a transformation for log oiler. Oh, and it's a perfect one. I don't need to do anything. It's perfect. It looks absolutely. And this this here is just like such a detail. It just captured such a detail there, and like this waves. Amazing. So what do we do with picture like this? It's against the sun. So one thing is, uh, Towers Long Aquila was against the sun, so it should look okay. It actually does look okay. It actually does look okay. It isn't level, so I need to fix that. That definitely is wrong. One shouldn't be doing such mistakes when taking photos. Okay, will be level now. I rotated it. I'm not sure if it's not too much of contrast or something. It's a bit greenish. I don't like that. Why is it so green? It's because of the imprecisions, you know. It's against the sun, it should be more yellow than green. Maybe it's greenish because of water. Hard to say. Oh, much better this way. Maybe even more like this. No, now it's kind of pinkish. Why is it pinkish? There's a lot of pink going on there. Okay, uh, that's that's why you need those um, highlight reconstruction. I suppose this even makes things worse if I turn it off. I know why it has a tendency to make things pink. Oh, for this image, you see, I need to do this. Like, there's a mask here. You can see the mask if you want. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, it sounds like we need to uh, increase exposure now because we've lost the whiteness of it. This highlight reconstruction didn't actually do the job for us as we would like. Um, Hmm, what am I gonna do with this? I'm just gonna drag it like this. It's kind of weird because you can change exposure here and you can change exposure here. There's so many things you can drag and play around with. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. Okay, um... 
let me just drag it first here okay how does it look I don't know maybe you can Yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult to get this kind of photo right because it's a, and you can see it's greenish. See what's the colors without any improvements. It's a bit still greenish. Here. It's a bit greenish. I don't like that. Okay, a little bit more red than. Let's do it this way. Let's bend it like this. What do we get? Oh, that looks that looks decent. That looks decent, I'd say. It actually does. It has all the all the expression we want. It doesn't have anything pink here. Highlight reconstruction is it needed? Oh, it's not needed. Look at that. It's, it's working without it. No need for a highlight reconstruction. Hmm. Maybe Velvia can be reduced. Okay, let's actually use it because we lost some saturation. It's actually a good thing to have when there is a lot of... Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's, that's kind of cool. This shadow here could be more... Shadow, be in the shadow. Let's uh, maybe remove shadow highlights thing. Uh, it actually gave a little bit of this, you see, this bloom thing. Because uh, what I did, I did highlights on the plus instead of mine. Normally highlights are compressed, so we can compress them. But that's not going to be amazing, it's and it's pink. <laughs> oh no, we don't want it to be pink. We can use the uh, highlight reconstruction if it's too pink for us. But uh, I'm not sure if it's... Well, I don't know. Looks okay. It's a difficult fixture to work with. It really is. This base curve. What can we do with the base curve here? Make it brighter? No, we don't want it brighter. Dark and the mids. It's actually not mids, this is the shadows. I don't know what's normally considered mids and shadows. This is logarithmic scale. I don't know if it makes it better this way. I don't feel like it. I actually like this haze here. I like it this way. On linear scale it looks like this. This is a linear scale. So I can go something like this. Oh, that makes sense. And then on logarithmic scale, right, but I have overdone this here. This is not nice. Hmm. This is where I'm going to use highlight reconstruction. Boom. And it's going to be white. See? Magic. Now we don't want to clip everything ugly. I just want those pink stuff to disappear. Oh, it disappeared. And it, it looks nice. It looks nice. There is a white here and there's some yellow water around the sun. It does look cool. Yeah. The waves and then like it looks so nice. It's just so noisy here. This wall, I would like it to be dark. Can we make it dark? What do we do with shadows? We we pump them up. Let's not pump shadows up. Let's make them dark. So normally shadows highlights is used for compression, but I'm actually doing the opposite now, I'd say. Okay, I don't know what I can do with this one. Um we can play around with the tone curve more a bit. I don't really know where this sits. What is the... Let's try it. 
what happens when I leave this area. It actually made it cool. It's, so it's somewhere here in this, this ugly part. It is somewhere in this area. What will happen if I just let it go like this? It would be nice. It would be glaring in the face. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe we want that. Maybe we want to do that. At the end of the day, this is, you know... What happened there? <laughs> okay, now this is acceptable, now it looks nice. It's just, yeah... Maybe I wanna make it darker. Too bright, no? I don't know, it was actually cooler the other way. Hmm. This creates non-linearity, you know? It creates this kind of... But actually, I like it. Yeah, I, I just leave it like this, maybe. Oh, that's gonna be working. I tell you. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. Let's leave that picture. It's it's a picture that looks good the way it is. Yeah. Let's leave it. It's a little bit shadow here, so I'm not sure which one is the best for this. Let me try this. Mula Cleveland had a similar structure. I would say this is actually a good choice, it's just a little bit too much of a color. I think this is way too much, no? So we just... well, yeah, it's already not too much value. Yeah. But yeah, it worked. It's, it's better now. I can even improve value. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a good amount of value. Yeah. Let's try this one. No, I'm not convinced about this bluish reflection of the sky. Okay, let's reduce the value. All right. Shadows. I would like some more shadows, actually. So I'm gonna reduce the thing. Oh, starts looking nice. Um, now this is too bright. I just drag this here. It's not very real time, I'd say. Okay. This is bright, too bright. But I want more value because I've lost colors. Oh, looks better now. Um, this one, why do I need it so crazy? Hmm. Does it, do we need this bump? Does it, does it give us anything? Yeah, this bump is cool actually. It actually adds all this nice detail. This is a bump with the detail. Okay, so there was a bump here somewhere. But maybe lower this bump. So Ideally, for every photo, I would need to do all this manually, you know? Do this all manually for every photo from the beginning, but I would go crazy if I had to do it for every photo. Well, everyone would. I mean, it's too much work. Okay, it starts looking interesting. So what basically can doing, this is the highlight, so I'm like lowering them down so you can see this sand here. 
a little bit more and compress it a bit but I also want to not lose the detail in here in shadows and I could use this highlights and shadows things like I probably should try that maybe let's go back to shadows first let's try to compress the shadows okay and now let's try to do this Well, this is cool. This is not the same as the shadows, and but this is cool photo already. I like it. It has everything it needs to have compared to what it was in the beginning. Now, now there is a contrast here. You have detail on this grass. You have this yellow, whatever sand. You have this nice sky reflecting. It's not oversaturated. There's this nice, nice yellow sun in the river. I like it. It has everything it needs to have. All the all the expression of the situation that was there. Let's see another photo. This one. This one looks like it needs color, doesn't it? Let's try this one. Uh, it looks like I would accept this one because I don't feel like I'm gonna get any better than this. I will. I'll look at this. <laughs> don't say jump before you jump <laughs> or whatever is the saying let's see if I can move down the exposure and, and, and get more of the sky or something I don't think I can I don't think there is any sky here no there is no sky so I, I think we can just go back to what it was because it was good come on please apply me this time what are you doing <clears throat> so on this on this uh, settings you can see this nice moss all around the place so I think it's pretty cool I don't know maybe we can edit it a little bit but we'll leave it like this uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of yellow I feel like I like yellow I like this you know Michael Bay <laughs> oh you see it's much better a yellow makes my eyes smile so I love yellow yellow is my favorite color even though I always wear pink for unknown reason there is a reason uh, now it looks like there is a this haze of the sun oh, now I like it more Oh, this looks very sunsetty. Very nice. Is there a chance I'm going to extract any blue from this river, or is this river forever yellow? Mm. It's, there is a there is a blue around here. Okay, let's let's see what we can do. It's like, this is a great blue, but we can try to see what we can do about this blue. That looks interesting. Ah, I'm getting excited when I look at it. A little bit reddish for me. How about I'm just gonna go maybe um, another point maybe here? Come on, show me the result. Render this, please. Hmm. It's a subtle, subtle changes, you know. I think it's just no, not really blue there. Like this blue wasn't like, this isn't really a natural blue. This blue comes from the fact that the sky is reflecting. <laughs> but this looks wonderful. This looks wonderful. I can add a little bit more yellow. Maybe, maybe like this, maybe before here and maybe here. Oh, hmm. Looks really nice to the eye. Maybe a little bit less. 
Yeah, we can focus on this minor saturations here and just leave the on oh, something like this. It would be really good if I could zoom in here. But okay, I think I'm gonna leave it like this because it's pretty cool. I'm not sure. Um, See, with this tiny adjustment, I just move this curve a little bit, one pixel. Because this is the thing, again, I this zoom doesn't work here. It's, I have a complaint, but no, okay, I'll leave it like this, because it is, it looks nice. And this haze in the eyes, you can actually see this glare, you know. You know now, now it has some extra, you know, color to it. And I love colors, especially on my Mac. So this is the rendered results. So this is the view on Tunnelly. See, this picture was, you know, there wasn't that much sun. It was kind of cloudy. It was quite gray. So I managed to get anything, any color out of it. <laughs> Otherwise, it would just be gray. On this one, we have a little bit more color. Thankfully, there we go. I like this lens flare here. It's really cool. Like boring photo. <laughs> tunnelly, tunnelly. More tunnelly. See, this is this noise I added to make this photo look like it was just noise from the, the photo. <laughs> it looks better with this noise, photos look better with the noise. When it's like with the, like plain color, it doesn't look natural because photos always have noise. And if you don't have the noise, it's like, it's not a real photo, it's computer processed photo. <laughs> And here we go, something like this. Nungaquila, Tulo Hill, Kamadari, Tunnelly, Tunnelly, Locoiler, beautiful photo of Locoiler. And yeah, all directions. Again, Longuilla. This is Longuilla from Tunnelly. So this is Tunnelly. This is Tulo Hill and this is Longuilla. It's Mula Cleveland. Let's zoom in. Oh, that's that's Mula Cleveland there. From there to here, this direct this whole path, it's seven and a half kilometers. And last year with hiking bodies on Facebook, we did uh, 30 kilometers all the way from all the way here and then to the scar madness. As always, there is water in the top. Oh, here you go, scar Joe's. Lock Euler, Joe's, Scar, Scar, Lock Euler, Scar, and Joe's. No Euler from another direction. So I went sort of from there, 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 on the top, and then down here on the other side. And now this beautiful photo. Remember, it was a difficult one, and it actually looks good. It actually looks good. It does look good. The rocks look really nice and rocky. They don't look smooth or anything. I really hate the digital photos with rocks in them that don't look like real rocks. This rock looks like real rock. And this water looks like real water. I love those blue skies. 
you know, blue skies. Yeah. Beautiful. Right. I'm not sure if this is Mola Cleveland. This is Mola Cleveland. This. Okay. So that has to be. Mm, not sure. Not sure. Dufil or Gravel. Okay. From this direction, I wouldn't know which one. Oh, next one. And then there is a road here. The cars are going oh, just here. This here. Oh, here we go. There's a road. And it goes to Glen Macras Waterfall Car Park. We have a car here coming. And this is me crossing the river crossing it just like walking through and then here is more of the Glen Magnus River and more didn't even turn out so bad here it's, yeah, once it's rendered it looks okay actually um, this picture is so marvelous it has all the colors you want yeah I think all three are great I mean my Oh, this one is nice. Just look at those pictures and your eyes are just resting and smiling. See all the sun, all this blue sky, all this yellow sun. And it looks so beautiful. And this grass burned with the, sky, with the sun. The sun is burning the grass. And you can see it's burning here and see green here. Oh, this is beautiful. I just feel like it glares me in my eyes. The sun, oh, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. All right, so that's my editing of images.